Hello, my name is Jen Underwood. I'm a Senior Technical Product Manager. Today we're going to take a look at Social Analytics with Power View in Excel 2013. In Excel 2013, Power Pivot, Power View, and the X Velocity in Memory Analytics Engine have been directly integrated. In this demo, we have unstructured data, Twitter data, and we're going to be looking at different movies and the contributions of specific movies to Twitter data patterns. We're going to go ahead and take the tweet counts and we're going to look at them over dates. And we can clearly see there's some spikes here. Now if we want to take a look at what movies might be attributed to the spikes in the data, we're going to grab the movie title and we're going to take a look at the tweet counts themselves. Now we'll take that data and we're going to interactively sort it in a descending manner to see the movies with the most tweets. One of the really cool features with PowerView is the ability to interactively slice and dice. So in this case, I can take a look here and interactively select an item and see the pattern. Now if I'm a movie theater owner, I'm going to be quite interested in taking a look at these tweet counts to predict revenue for movies. Now traditionally in the movie theater business, the initial week of the movie has the most revenue, followed by week two. However, if there's a really, really good movie, folks end up tweeting about it, and what we'll find is the second week will be better than the first. Aha! Uh -huh. And with the dictator, that is indeed true. We can see that sentiment there is the highest of all the movie types, and indeed revenue is increased because folks told other folks they referred them to go see it. Now we have a list of Oscar nominations. So these actors and act actresses that have been nominated want to take a look and see if this nomination that they received had any impact in their tweet count activity. So again, we'll sort the data and we'll take a look for the patterns themselves. We'll look at the data over time. And then we'll look to see when the Oscar nomination happened, if their tweet activity increased, and if it, and if it didn't, um, if it made any impact or not. So we have all the actors and actresses here, and there is certainly an increase uh, around nomination time. However, for Brad Pitt, it's uh, not very relevant. But for Melissa McCarthy, aha! It is very relevant that she was nominated uh, with regards to her tweet count activity. Now, in addition to just tweet counts, uh, we look at sentiment and, and feeling of the actor. And we would assume that it always improves following a nomination. So for the first fellow here, we're taking a look at Max. We do see this to be the case. He was relatively unknown prior to the Oscar nomination, and then he's uh, gotten a lot of positive sentiment following the nomination. However, that is not always true. If we look at Damien. Damien initially is pretty decent sentiment, and then he drops significantly following the, the nomination, which is quite interesting. In fact, he continues to drop so much, he's in a worse position, a much worse position than he was prior to the nomination, which is quite intriguing. Last but not least, if we look at Brad Pitt, if sentiment changes or not, we can see it certainly is not significant. He's such a superstar, just about anything he does doesn't really matter. 